Aquarius welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles my name is Rosa and I am coming in with your weekly love reading where in this video today we're going to take a look at your energy and the energy of your person whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love this is a general love reading if it resonates with you right now feel free to show your support towards the channel this reading can be good for Sun Moon Venus and rising Aquarian placements to the cross watchers checking in on an Aquarius take the messages as they best resonate for you you can reverse the roles in today's video otherwise if you are looking for something more specific feel free to connect with me I am available for personal readings and you will find all the details in the descriptions box below I do invite you to come into the reading with an open heart and an open mind always just take what resonates for you and if you feel like this video doesn't speak to you you can always just click on out and tune back in at a later stage otherwise you can check out your other placements you guys as there may be a message waiting over there Aquarius I do set the intention with my readings that um, I can provide you with as much clarity and information surrounding your uh, situation um, as best as I can and above all I do like to empower you through my readings so let's begin your reading here today we're going to open up the reading with an oracle card and this card here is going to show us what is influencing your current situation okay oh we have the medallion the medallion Mmm, it's different. The medallion. Oh, I like it. I actually really like this because the medallion makes me feel like I'm hearing the word prize. So I feel like this is more connected to you, Aquarius. Mmm. I feel like you are putting yourself out of reach or this person may feel like you're out of reach because you are starting to view yourself as you're the prize yeah there's this mindset around being the prize Mm. and I feel like this person is aiming to achieve the prize you know so I'm kind of getting here Mm. there's kind of like this winning mindset surrounding you you're but you you're both in this winning mindset <laughs> you're in a winning mindset and they are in a winning mindset mm. I actually really like it so I'm gonna leave it there and I will t I, I will speak more on that as we traverse this reading of yours but we are going to open up the reading with your energy first and we're going to see how this card here ties in with your energy so spirit angels and guides please show us the energy of Aquarius towards the person that they are connecting to and dealing with in love okay let's have a look here oh the page of wands is here mm. okay that's good that's good tell us more tell us more please show us the energy of Aquarius yes we like we like ace of cups <laughs> ace of cups <laughs> okay so I actually really like the energy tell me more the ace of swords 
please show us the energy of Aquarius towards this person that they are connecting to and dealing with in love this week, Spirit. The Knight of Pentacles. Look, I have to say, uh, Aquarius, this Knight of Pentacles is your person. Mm. They are hella interested in you. Yes, they are. I don't know, I want to look at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> I just wanted to look at the bottom of the deck. The Knight of Wands, okay. All right, so let me just read the energies on the table. We have Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have strong fire energy here today, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And we have air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius also. But look, it can be any sign really. Um, Knight of Wands, there is someone here that is very interested in you. And I feel like the, I feel like the feelings are mutual. I'm going to say with this Knight of Wands that the feelings are mutual. Okay, I feel like you're interested in them and they are interested in you. I do feel like when I look at these two cards, I feel like you are the King of Wands and the Page of Swords. And I feel like you're interested in this person also. I feel like you're curious to know more about them or maybe more to the point, Aquarius, you want to know what this person's intentions are with you. Mm. You want to know what their intentions are. I like that you're coming through as the King of Wands though because there's this kind of like regal attitude about you and if you're viewing yourself as well I'm the prize Rosa that's kind of very fitting with the King of Wands here today and this person is definitely the Knight of Pentacles. So you're kind of looking at this person like they have to come to me. This person has to come to me. They are the ones that have to approach me. The King of Wands, he isn't moving from his throne. So you're not moving from your position here, but you are very interested in this person. The fact that they are coming in as the Knight of Pentacles, well, the, the Knights are the, the action cards. So this, you're kind of showing me here, well, this person has to approach me, but you're probably wondering here, well, what the hell is going on? Because they're taking their sweet ass time. You know, the Knight of Pentacles is a very slow moving energy. Maybe with the Knight of Wands here, like the, the attraction between the both of you is undeniable. The chemistry, the connection is undeniable. Maybe, you know, when you first met each other, things moved very, very quickly. But the, the Knight of Pentacles, okay, maybe it's all of a sudden slowed down. Maybe things between the both of you have slowed down. Uh, with the Page of Wands sitting on top of the Knight of Pentacles, maybe communication has slowed down. Hmm. But I do see you with the Ace of Cups here. I do see you available. Like It's like you're saying to me, Rosa, I, I, I want to be with this person. I'm open to being with this person. I'm just waiting for them to call me, text me, pursue me. I'm waiting for this person to take action. And with the Ace of Swords here, maybe you're waiting for them to make a decision. Let's clarify.
Let's clarify. What do I want to clarify first? Um, I want to clarify this Page of Swords. Tell me more about this Page of Swords. Why is the Page of Swords here? I feel like this is you wondering what this person's intentions are with you. Ah, the Five of Swords is here. You may, yeah, you're feeling frustrated. I feel like there's a little bit of frustration on your end, Aquarius, because you may be feeling at this stage, perhaps this person is showing mixed signals or signs of mixed messages. Because like I said, with the Knight of Wands, the attraction is undeniable. Things were progressing and then all of a sudden this person has kind of stopped. Maybe stopped calling, stopped texting, like it's really slowed down here. Why is the page of wands here? Why is the page of wands here? The five of wands. Hmm. Page of wands with the five of wands. Not sure what that's about. Tell me more. King of Pentacles. Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Well, the Page of Wands is a messenger. So there's some conflict around sending this message. Maybe, I don't know if you've sent a message or you haven't received a response from this person. Hmm. No, it's not that. No, it's not that. Maybe this person's feeling conflicted about sending you a message. Because the Five of Wands is conflict. It's, it's feeling conflicted. There's definitely conflict around um, connecting with you or sending you a message. Uh, the King of Pentacles is here. But what's this King of Pentacles? Let me get another card. Tell me more. The Seven of Pentacles. Maybe this person doesn't feel like you're interested. Queen of Pentacles. Well, the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles is here. And that's a true match. That's a true pair. I 
let me just let me have a look at this knight of pentacles what, what's holding this person up what's holding this person up yeah this two of pentacles is here You're not too sure about this person. You feel like this person is being very wishy-washy with you. Yeah, I'm seeing that. And I feel like that's why you are like, you, you've pulled yourself back. You've definitely pulled yourself back from this person. I feel like you were engaging. Um in communications with this person i feel like maybe that's what that five of wands clarifying that page of wands is i feel like that's what it is i feel like there's conflict here with the way you are interacting and engaging with this person now because with the king of pentacles here that's what it is aquarius i feel like Because see, with the Page of Wands, this person may be trying to communicate with you like in a flirty, um, casual nature. But the King of Pentacles, he's, he's, he's stoic. Like he can, He can only be flirty for so long, but then he, he, he likes to take things more seriously. You know, and I sort of see you going, hang on a second here. Is this person just like in this for the fun of it? Because see, the Queen of Pentacles has come out as well. So you're questioning whether this person is serious about you like is this person really serious in getting to know me to to develop a relationship with me or are they just here to play games that's what it is that's what it is Aquarius sorry for the muck around I just I had to just figure that out so let's have a look at your person's energy to figure out what's going on with them. I'm going to pop these cards aside. Let's figure out what their hold up is. Um, I'm going to pop the clarifiers back because look, you, you're available. You're like, hang on, I'm the prize here. So I feel like you've kind of just gone, you, you've pulled yourself up because I feel like you were happy to engage with this person right up until you figured out hang on a second all right let's just take a look at this person's energy towards you so spirit angels and guides please show us the energy of the person that aquarius is connecting to okay well the three of pentacles is here what is this per what is this person's energy towards aquarius what is this person's energy towards Aquarius? Hmm, okay. King of Cups. The, th the Six of Pentacles. Well, their energy is nice. The Two of Swords. Hmm. Two of Swords. Okay. 
This one wants to come through. There it is, Two of Pentacles. Two of Swords, Two of Pentacles. Well, you've got this person at some kind of a crossroad. That's what the hold up is. Okay, the Queen of Cups is here with the Eight of Pentacles. Well, look at this. We've got true pairs coming through. You had the King and Queen of Pentacles and they've got the King and Queen of Cups. What's at the bottom here? Oh, the Empress. Well, well, well. I love how the cards all tie in together because you're, you, you have this like mindset that you're the prize and look there is no doubt in my mind when i look at the empress she's definitely the prize she's definitely a catch right so you're you the fact that you're viewing yourself as you're this catch or you're in this mindset well you should be in this mindset you know what rosa i i i'm a i'm a good catch and i think if you're if you put yourself in that category that you're a good catch then you're kind of making this person decide that you're the person that they should want to be with, right? So I'm going to put that there. Because what I love about the Empress here is she's got high standards and, and you've got high standards here for yourself and she doesn't force anything she doesn't force um she doesn't try to control or manipulate she just is herself and she attracts so i feel like when you're in this energy aquarius of you know what i I know what I deserve and I know um, what I bring to the table and I know that I'm a great catch, then you will just naturally attract this person to you. Mm. And I do like these cards that are on the table because this person is viewing you as a good catch, as a great catch. And if anything, they know here with the Empress that they're not going to be able to do better than you. I'm going to take a sip of water. Mm. I do want to clarify the Two of Swords and the Two of Pentacles though. I do want to clarify those cards. I do feel with the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups here in their energy, this person feels like on their end, they have this awesome connection with you. So uh, like you felt like this great chemistry on their end, they're feeling like they are starting to develop these beautiful um feelings for you and maybe that emotional connection is starting to develop on their end okay so they are feeling that emotional connection they are feeling and i and i i feel like when you've got that emotional connection that definitely is a recipe um you, you definitely need that in order for a relationship to develop and grow, right? I'm seeing here with the Queen of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles, I am seeing here that this person wants to maybe develop a, a deeper emotional connection here with you. 
I do feel like they want to have a relationship here with you. I feel like they are invested. I just want to clarify these, the, the Two of Swords and the Two of Pentacles though. I want to understand what's, what's holding this person up. The Eight of Pentacles. Tell me more. Okay. Oh, there's the Five of Wands again and the Seven of Pentacles. Hmm. Okay. Look, I, I just feel like what's happening here for this person is you're really giving this person something to think about. That's all. Um, I feel like they are at this crossroad. And the fact that they are coming through as the Knight of Pentacles, look, I, I don't dislike the Knight of Pentacles. They are moving very slowly here. But that's kind of like a good thing because when the Knight of Pentacles does make a decision, you're definitely going to see progress. When this person makes a decision that they are invested into the connection, you're going to see progress. You're going to see improvement. You're going to see this person come in being definitely more consistent in nature you know and they're definitely going to move the relationship forward it's going to be slow but you will see it but when they make that decision you will see it so this is just someone who is I guess, approaching or proceeding with caution. And I feel like it's because they want to make the right decision. They want to know that the person that they are investing in is, is the person that they want to be investing in. And we can see here, if they're viewing you as the empress, that, well, it's a no-brainer. They want to be investing in, into you. Okay. So I just feel here that they are working through that. Okay, that's, that's the crossroad that they're at. They're working through making that decision. Yeah, I feel like with the five of wands here, they have been kind of like playing these games with you, if you can call it that. But I feel with the seven of pentacles, When I say they have been playing games with you, they kind of have been sort of going back and forth and being fickle here with you. Um, but because you are acting like the Empress or you're, you're being in Empress energy, you are giving this person something to think about, right? And the Eight of Pentacles is here. This is progressive energy. So it's showing me that they are willing to focus on uh, building and working on this relationship and growing this connection. The Three of Pentacles is here, beautiful card. Six of Pentacles is here, beautiful card. It's a card of reciprocity. Three of Pentacles, this is taking things further. This is taking things to the next level. Three is growth. I mean, the Three of Pentacles, this is someone who feels like they're on the same page as you. Um, yeah, I just feel like this is something that they needed to decide for themselves. They needed to work out on their end, is this what I want? I'm feeling this beautiful connection with Aquarius. 
if I make this decision, I'm going all the way. You know, I'm putting the hard yards in. Yeah. All right. Well, let's take a look at the possible outcome here. Mm. So what I'm saying here is with the Two of Pentacles being clarified by the Eight of Pentacles before, is this wishy-washy nature that maybe you were seeing is going to come to an end. It's going to stop. This person is going to be more consistent with you. They're going to show more dedication, more commitment, more seriousness. Okay, so possible outcome of this situation, Spirit, for Aquarius. What is the possible outcome? What is the possible outcome? Not ready yet. Spirit, angels and guides, what is the possible outcome of this situation? Oh, the strength card. Big Leo energy. You may be dealing with a Leo. Oh. Look, I really love the imagery in the cards. Yeah, look at this big Leo energy here with the Sun card. Look, I just feel like with these two cards on the table, I feel like this is telling me in the possible outcome, your situation's only going to improve. Your connection's only going to improve. It's going to grow from strength to strength. With the strength card, I feel you and this person may be very different. It may be a case of opposites attract, but that could be a good thing. Oh, what have we got here? The Four of Swords. What have we got at the bottom of the deck? The Moon card. Yeah, polar opposite. See what I mean? The Sun, the Moon, you may be opposite. Um, what I love about the Sun and the Moon, this is Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine Energy. So there's something here about both of you being very complementary towards one another. I feel like you're compatible. I feel like you and this person are very compatible. There's a yin yang energy. You both balance one another out. One's very feminine, one's very masculine. Mm. And I feel like because of this dynamic that you have going on, I feel with this strength card, it's something that makes you strong as a couple. I don't know if I'm saying that right or explaining that correctly, but there's just this beautiful feminine and masculine energy about you guys that makes your connection or dynamic work really, really well. Mm. I want to have a look at this Four of Swords. I feel like you, you guys just have this unspoken connection. I feel like with the Sun card here, there's going to be a lot of happiness, a lot of joy. I feel like with the Moon here, the Moon speaks to emotions. So there may be like um, some very strong emotions or raw emotions. Intense emotions. Tell me more about this Four of Swords. Yeah. The Knight of Cups. 
water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You may be connecting to a water sign here. But look, in the possible outcome, Aquarius, I do feel that there is someone here that is going to take romantic action towards you. Okay, I feel like this person, this person's attraction towards you um, is undeniable. I feel like this person will communicate their feelings. They will express their feelings. They are going to extend themselves to you and they're going to make you some kind of love offer here. Mm. The moon is here, so I feel like this person's going to make their intentions and their feelings known. And I feel like it's something that is going to make you very happy. You know what I see here? Basically, it's it's just take me, taking me back to the start where I feel like both of you are winning. You both come out of this being both winners. You both win. So I'm going to leave it there, Aquarius. Hopefully that resonated for you. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know which part of the reading best resonated for you. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.